So, all right, guys. Hey, this video, guys, I've been doing a little research, and what engine was had more horsepower and torque than the 455 in 1970? Whether you know it or not, the, in the Buicks, the 7455 was as tough and as fast as the motors the 455s got. One of the best motors they made, besides the 3800 that go back from years and years, whole nother story uh, with that 3800 that they have in the newer cars now, but that same block been used way back from Jeep took that engine over. I mean, it's a whole nother history to that. Uh, they was in the older uh, 50 something Buicks, you know, uh, what, two point, uh, I'm, I'm not, I have to be doing so much I can't remember, but the 455 was the toughest, the fastest, the most horse and torque that Buick made. Follow this video, check out this video, guys. I'm gonna tell you what engine it is. Man, only one, more power, uh, Chrysler, Chevy, nobody did what the Buick did, but one manufacturer it's in the GM family outdid them. All right. Come on, check out this video. So, all right, guys. Hey, let's talk about this uh, Buick 455. Man. These were some beasts. The 1970. Let me make sure I'm in the camera here. All right. Now, make sure I'm in the camera. All right. So... The 1974 55. Now, I had a 68 Electra convertible. Had console, uh, had console in there. It was just a console. Um, no shifter or nothing like that. But it had a center console, bucket seats. <clears throat> Man, I love that car. I never could get it to quit overheating on me, though. So I sold it, but uh, it had the 430 in it, man. And it would only overheat when it was sitting idle, but that thing was a beast. <clears throat> so come to find out later, I think I probably should have been burning premium oil. But anyway, man, the 450, I used to always, and I still tell people the 430s are a beast. The nail heads was a beast, you know, Denny's. He was he was he was the head engineer over in Bu at Buick and he was doing his thing, <clears throat> but uh, man, I talked to him. If you watch the channel, you probably seen the video. And you know, I'm not a big racer, so I don't. You know, I didn't know nothing about like the torque and. You know, I always thought horsepower was a thing, but he explained to me the torque with the Buicks being so heavy, so heavily optioned, that he was more um, interested in torque. And, um, man, this 1970 is a torque master, man. It's <clears throat> the baddest Buick engine they ever made. It, I mean, it's, it's just a torque master. So the 19, the, the 430, that came in like, I think 68, 69. The 430s guys, they had 360 horsepower, but they only had 475 in torque. Now that's that's a beast too, you know. Well, not these days when you got these Hemi's and you know the Ford, all of them doing all these crazy numbers. But back in the 70s, you know, late. 60s, 70, 475 torque. That's 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 a beast. But check it out, guys. The 197455. This baby is running 360. Get some number say 370, 36. But it's got 510 foot pounds of torque. Torque master, but boy, this is a beast. It's a beast, I'm telling you. So that's what I got here. 
1970. It looked like this engine been rebuilt to it. It's had some work done to it. But, uh, man, the only, the only other engine or car or company that outdid Buick in 1970 was Cadillac. I, I just ran across this just recently. <laughs> Cadillac, in 1970, the Eldorado had a 500 cubic inch, not 450, 500. It was a 500 cubic inch with 400 horsepower and 550 in torque. Cadillac did his thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> but when you circle back around to the Buicks, now, that's something else. You know, like they say this engine, <clears throat> the 455 engines, period, are just, um, what, a couple of, I, I, I don't remember that, but it, it ain't too much heavier than a small block sh uh a Chevy engine that you it's just that light but uh man just checking all of that out I mean I was really amazed when I ran across the Cadillac <clears throat> did but that they you know that that Eldorado so that that was uh 400 horsepower 550 torque but with the Buicks this engine is the baddest engine that Buick ever made. Now, in 70, they started the emissions. <coughs> Excuse me. They started the emissions, and they start uh, cutting, you know, cutting back. You know, I think the GS is still was up there. And then, talking to Denny, <coughs> the, 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 like, 71, 72, and even these engines, they was underrated you know, for insurance purposes, so, you know, but, man, just, just a little bit for you guys, you know, like I said, <clears throat> 455, everybody think the 430, I used to think the same thing, <clears throat> but, it's 1970, and this is just, you know, then you get into the GS, I think they, like, for sure, like, uh, 370, the GSs, and, um, <clears throat> you know, a little bit more torque or whatever in, with the GSs, but the standard 455 engine, 500 foot-pounds of torque, man, man, engine of beast, man. Before I tore this car apart, I got it, <clears throat> I got, <clears throat> excuse me. Before I tore this car apart, I got this engine <clears throat> running really, really good, guys. And um, it gets up and go. I'm not a racer, <clears throat> you know. I'm not into that, but never have been. But uh, it's still good to know when you want to put your foot in something, you know. So, like I said, a lot of guys, they be, uh, <clears throat> you know, I want a 430, I want a 430. Get you a 455 and uh, figure out what they did in 1970. And, uh, you know, call stage one and get what you need. <laughs> 455 is a is a good engine. I mean, I really liked it. The, the reason they, a lot of people jumped the Buicks back in the days, guys, is because of the oil pump. Let me show you the oil pump here. I mean, this is the... This is the case, and this is the case. I mean, where the oil filter went, but it's got gears inside of here, guys. And uh, these will wear out <clears throat> at one that they used to then remanufacture these, so <clears throat> you know, these will wear out the oil light come on, you know. So, a lot of Buicks, I believe, was junked <clears throat> because of. You know that um, those gears and really people not being able because this thing it screws right off, <clears throat> but 
you know, those gears wear out and, and uh, you get too much, you know, um, this ain't sealed good enough and then your oil light will come on. So a lot of people jump those, uh, a lot of Buicks because of that, guys. <clears throat> but besides that, now TA Performance, they make uh, brand new timing chain covers and stuff, guys. Um, this one got original on there, but they do sell the new timing chain cover, guys, now on everything. So, uh, and then they sell the, <clears throat> you know, the piece I just had there that the filter go on, the pump cover, you know, oil pump cover. They, they sell all of that now, guys. <clears throat> this engine is there, so... I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna just put a new gasket on here, prime this up, and go. But guys, Cadillac the only one that was out doing the Buicks, I'm telling you. Cadillac was the only one. <laughs> Nobody else was doing what Denny's was doing over there, you know. So, uh, man, a lot of 455s. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Share this video, guys. Let everybody know. 1970. If you find your original block, um, original engine, put it back together. I also built yours, you know, the way they built them in 1970. And I think all it was was, you know, big valves. They had a little bit more stuff, you know, maybe the crank, but <clears throat> I'm not really an engine guy, so I, I just know uh, what I've read up on these engines and research, so. Hey guys, you like these videos, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. And <clears throat> thank Dennings for all that he did for us Buick guys, you know. I mean, a lot of people have, <clears throat> like, people that they look up to, you know. Michael Jordan, Giannis, you know. Whoever, Shaq, you know, whoever. I, I, I look at Dennings the same way in the Buick world, you know, he's like, you know, that all-star of Buicks and Buick engine guys, so, thanks for tuning in, as always, man, this is what I love to do, so, you know, this is what I do, guys, all right, all things Buick, thanks.